This isn't speculation. These are hardwired physiological mechanisms, and each one is linked to a deficiency or imbalance in key micronutrients that directly affect the nervous system, muscle fibers, or both. Let's zoom out and look at what a cramp actually is. A muscle fiber contracts involuntarily and stays contracted. There is a failure of the relaxation mechanism. And that's almost always traceable to impaired neuromuscular signaling or electrolyte balance, both of which are governed in part by vitamins. So here are the seven most impactful vitamins and micronutrients to target. Vitamin B1Ls, thiamine, and vitamin B12s, cobalamin, are two essential nutrients that play a central role in maintaining healthy nerve muscle communication. This neuromuscular connection is responsible for initiating, sustaining, and regulating muscle contraction when deficiencies in either of these vitamins occur. The transmission of electrical signals from the brain and spinal cord to the muscles becomes impaired, which can manifest as cramping, twitching, numbness, or generalized muscle weakness. Thiamine or vitamin B1 is crucial in the conversion of carbohydrates into adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the fundamental unit of energy used by all cells, including neurons and muscle fibers. Thiamine acts as a coenzyme for several enzymes involved in the Krebs cycle, which takes place in mitochondria and is vital for producing ATP. Without sufficient ATP, nerve cells cannot efficiently conduct impulses and muscle fibers cannot sustain contraction or release properly. This leads to dysfunction in motor unit firing, which can cause spasms or cramps, particularly during periods of physical exertion or during sleep when other factors like circulation and electrolyte status may already be suboptimal. B1 is also essential for the synthesis and release of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that acts as the primary chemical messenger between motor neurons and skeletal muscle. In the absence of sufficient acetylcholine, muscles may receive incomplete or distorted signals, leading to delayed responses or spontaneous contractions. People who consume a high sugar diet, alcohol, or those with gastrointestinal absorption issues are particularly susceptible to thiamine deficiency efficiency, even if their overall caloric intake is adequate. Vitamin B12 operates through a slightly different but equally critical mechanism. It is required for the proper formation and maintenance of the myelin sheath, the insulating layer that surrounds nerves and enhances the speed and precision of electrical impulse conduction. A deficiency in B12 leads to demyelination, a process in which the protective sheath around nerves is degraded. This slows down or disrupts nerve signals, resulting in symptoms that range from subtle tingling and mild fatigue to severe muscle weakness and cramping. B12 also plays a role in the methylation cycle and the synthesis of neurotransmitters. Its deficiency impacts not only peripheral nerve conduction, but also central neural control of motor function. Over time, low B12 can impair proprioception, the body's sense of spatial orientation, and lead to poor coordination, which adds a layer of neuromuscular instability and increases the likelihood of cramping and fatigue. The nervous system is finely tuned and energy intensive, and both B1 and B12 are required in sufficient quantities to keep it functioning at a high level. These vitamins are not just important for general health. They are direct regulators of how well motor neurons communicate with muscle tissue. Without that communication operating smoothly, muscles receive either incomplete signals or continue firing when they shouldn't, leading to a wide range of dysfunctions from benign twitches to painful cramps. Vitamin D plays a fundamental role in the regulation of calcium metabolism, and calcium is a primary driver of muscle contraction and relaxation. When calcium enters a muscle cell, it triggers the interaction between actin and myosin, two protein filaments that slide past one another to produce contraction. Once the contraction is complete, calcium must be pumped back out of the muscle cell or into internal storage compartments like the sarcoplasmic reticulum to allow the muscle to relax. This calcium shuttling process is tightly controlled and energy dependent, and it relies heavily on optimal vitamin D status. Vitamin D enhances the absorption of calcium from the gastrointestinal tract into the bloodstream. Without adequate vitamin D, calcium absorption drops significantly, even if dietary intake of calcium is sufficient. As a result, circulating calcium levels may decline, prompting the body to draw calcium from bones and impairing its availability for muscle contraction. This leads to a situation where muscle fibers either fail to contract effectively or cannot return to a relaxed state once contraction has occurred, which is a hallmark feature of muscle cramping. Beyond its role in calcium absorption, vitamin D also influences intracellular calcium signaling. The presence of vitamin D receptors in skeletal muscle indicates that this vitamin exerts direct effects on muscle tissue. When vitamin D binds to its receptor within the muscle cell, it activates genomic pathways that regulate calcium channels, pumps, and buffers. These mechanisms are essential for maintaining the delicate balance of calcium required for normal muscle excitability and preventing spontaneous, uncoordinated firing of muscle fibers. A deficiency in vitamin D can lead to hyperexcitability of nerves that innervate skeletal muscle. This happens because low vitamin D disrupts the balance of ions involved in neuronal function, not just calcium, but also magnesium and phosphate, which are also interrelated in the vitamin D metabolic pathway. When motor neurons become more excitable, they are more prone to fire without the appropriate signals from the brain or spinal cord, leading to involuntary contractions, 
what most people experience as cramps. There's also a connection between vitamin D and the preservation of type 2A fast twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for strength, speed, and power. These fibers are more vulnerable to atrophy with aging and inactivity, and, and vitamin D appears to play a protective role against their degradation. When these fibers weaken, the body compensates by overusing the remaining muscle tissue, increasing the risk of fatigue and cramping. Additionally, vitamin D modulates inflammatory responses and oxidative stress in muscle tissue. Inflammation and oxidative damage can impair calcium signaling and energy production within muscle cells, further contributing to poor muscular control and dysfunction. Chronic low-grade inflammation, often seen in individuals with low vitamin D levels, may subtly alter neuromuscular control and increase the likelihood of cramps and weakness during exertion or at rest. Vitamin D's role extends into the central nervous system as well, where it influences the production of neurotrophic factors and supports overall neuronal health. The combined effect of impaired calcium handling, altered nerve excitability, and diminished muscle fiber integrity creates the perfect environment for frequent painful leg cramps and progressive muscular fatigue. Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, and magnesium are two crucial nutrients that work synergistically to regulate the excitability of the nervous system and ensure balanced neuromuscular function. One of the primary causes of leg cramps and involuntary muscle contractions is hyperexcitability of motor neurons, the nerves that send signals from the brain and spinal cord to skeletal muscles. When these neurons become overly sensitive or easily triggered, they can send abnormal signals that cause muscles to contract without proper coordination or stimulus. Both B6 and magnesium play central roles in calming this overactivity and maintaining electrical stability in the body. Vitamin B6 acts as a coenzyme in the synthesis of several neurotransmitters, including gamma, aminobutyric acid, GABA, serotonin, and dopamine. JB is particularly significant in this context because it is the main inhibitory neurotransmitter in the human nervous system. Its primary function is to reduce neuronal excitability by blocking or slowing down nerve signals. Without sufficient B6, the body cannot produce adequate levels of GABA, resulting in an imbalance between excitatory and inhibitory signals in the nervous system. This can lead to heightened muscle tone, twitching, spasms, or full-blown cramps. B6 also influences the metabolism of amino acids, glucose, and lipids, all of which impact nerve health and energy availability. Deficiencies in B6 can lead to peripheral neuropathy, a condition characterized by tingling, numbness, and weakness, particularly in the limbs. This impaired nerve function can increase the risk of misfiring motor neurons and unpredictable muscle contractions. Moreover, people who use certain medications like isoniazid, hydralazine, or birth control pills may have increased B6 requirements due to altered metabolism. Magnesium plays a direct and powerful role in muscle relaxation and nerve function. It competes with calcium at the cellular level to regulate contraction. While calcium entry into muscle cells initiates contraction, magnesium acts as a natural calcium blocker, preventing excessive contraction and promoting relaxation. When magnesium levels are low, calcium may remain in the cell longer than it should, causing the muscle fiber to stay contracted, which manifests as a cramp. In the nervous system, magnesium binds to and modulates MDA receptors, which are involved in the transmission of excitatory signals. Excessive activation of these receptors can lead to neuronal overstimulation, contributing to muscle spasms, twitching, and cramping. By inhibiting this overstimulation, magnesium helps to maintain a balanced excitatory-inhibitory tone in the nervous system. Magnesium is also a cofactor in the synthesis of ATP, the energy currency of the cell. ATP is required not only for muscle contraction, but more importantly for muscle relaxation, as it powers the pumps that move calcium back into storage. Without enough ATP, due to magnesium deficiency, the calcium pump fails to work efficiently, leaving calcium in the muscle cell and preventing it from relaxing properly. Together, B6 and magnesium support healthy neuromuscular function by promoting inhibitory neurotransmission, regulating calcium balance, and ensuring smooth, coordinated muscle activity. Deficiencies in either nutrient, especially when combined, can create the conditions for chronic cramping and muscle fatigue, particularly in the legs. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble antioxidant that plays a critical role in maintaining the structural and functional integrity of muscle tissue, especially in the context of oxidative stress and poor circulation. One of its primary functions is to protect cell membranes from lipid peroxidation, a process where free radicals attack the lipid components of cell membranes, leading to cellular damage and dysfunction. This protection is particularly important for muscle cells, which are highly active metabolically and therefore more prone to oxidative damage during physical exertion or prolonged muscle use. Skeletal muscle cells, like all cells, rely on the integrity of their membranes to maintain proper ionic gradients and transmit signals effectively. When oxidative stress disrupts these membranes, the regulation of electrolytes such as calcium and potassium becomes impaired. This disruption can alter the excitability of the muscle cell and make it more susceptible to spasms or cramps. By neutralizing free radicals and stabilizing membranes, vitamin E helps preserve the cell's ability to regulate these ions and reduces the likelihood of involuntary contractions.
In individuals with compromised blood flow, such as those with diabetes, peripheral artery disease, or sedentary lifestyles, muscles may not receive adequate oxygen and nutrient delivery. This ischemic condition can lead to localized oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which increase the risk of muscle dysfunction and cramping. Vitamin E's antioxidant properties are especially beneficial in these contexts as it reduces oxidative damage in tissues exposed to low oxygen conditions and helps maintain muscle performance and recovery. Another aspect of vitamin E's role in preventing cramps lies in its influence on potassium levels. Potassium is a key electrolyte involved in repolarizing muscle cells after contraction. Deficient or unstable potassium levels can delay this repolarization phase, causing the muscle to remain in a contracted state longer than normal. Some studies suggest that vitamin E deficiency may lead to increased potassium loss from cells, further destabilizing the neuromuscular environment and promoting cramp-like activity. By maintaining the structural integrity of cell membranes and preventing potassium leakage, vitamin E supports proper electrical recovery and muscle relaxation. Vitamin E also plays a role in the regeneration of other antioxidants, such as vitamin C and glutathione, both of which contribute to overall redox balance in muscle tissue. This synergistic effect enhances the body's capacity to neutralize a wide range of reactive oxygen species generated during muscle contraction and metabolic activity. Athletes, in particular, may have higher oxidative demands and benefit from adequate vitamin E levels to support muscular endurance and reduce exercise-induced cramping. A deficiency in vitamin E, while relatively uncommon in the general population, can occur in individuals with fat malabsorption syndromes, such as those with celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, or pancreatic insufficiency. In these cases, the delivery of vitamin E to muscle tissues becomes compromised and symptoms such as muscle weakness, coordination difficulties, and cramping may begin to manifest. Supplementing vitamin E under medical supervision can help restore antioxidant capacity and reduce these neuromuscular symptoms. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble nutrient that plays multiple essential roles in maintaining neuromuscular health, particularly through its impact on connective tissue integrity, antioxidant defense, and neurotransmitter synthesis. While commonly associated with immune support, its function in support Supporting structural and chemical systems within muscles and nerves makes it highly relevant to the prevention of leg cramps and muscular weakness. One of vitamin C's most important roles is as a cofactor in the biosynthesis of collagen, a structural protein that forms the foundational matrix of muscles, tendons, ligaments, and blood vessels. Collagen is what gives connective tissue its strength and elasticity, allowing muscles to transmit force efficiently while also protecting against strain and micro tears. In the absence of adequate vitamin C, collagen production becomes impaired, which can lead to weakened support structures surrounding muscle fibers. This instability may increase the risk of muscle cramping and pain, especially in high use areas like the calves and thighs. Poor collagen integrity also impacts the capillaries that supply oxygen and nutrients to muscles, compromising recovery and function over time. Vitamin C is also a powerful antioxidant that protects both muscle and nerve cells from oxidative stress during physical activity, especially intense or repetitive movement. Muscle cells produce free radicals as byproducts of energy metabolism. These free radicals can damage cell membranes, proteins, and mitochondrial function if not neutralized. When oxidative damage accumulates, it impairs the muscle's ability to contract and relax properly, setting the stage for spasms, stiffness, and fatigue. Vitamin C neutralizes these free radicals and helps regenerate other antioxidants such as vitamin E and glutathione, creating a robust defense system within the muscle tissue. In addition to its structural and antioxidant functions, vitamin C also contributes to neurotransmitter synthesis, particularly of dopamine and norepinephrine. These catecholamines play key roles roles in the nervous system's regulation of alertness, focus, and muscular tone. Dopamine, for example, affects motor control and coordination, and deficiencies in its production can contribute to neuromuscular irregularities. Norepinephrine helps maintain vascular tone and blood flow, which are necessary for delivering nutrients and oxygen to working muscles. Vitamin C supports the enzymes involved in synthesizing these neurotransmitters, thereby influencing both nerve signaling and vascular function. Another lesser known role of vitamin C involves its support of iron absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. Iron is essential for the formation of hemoglobin, which transports oxygen to tissues. Without enough oxygen, muscles fatigue more quickly and are more prone to cramping due to anaerobic metabolism and lactic acid buildup. By enhancing iron absorption, vitamin C indirectly improves oxygen delivery to muscles and supports overall endurance and recovery. People with low vitamin C levels may experience symptoms such as easy bruising, joint pain fatigue, and frequent muscle soreness, all signs of compromised collagen production and oxidative stress. Smokers, individuals under chronic stress, and those with diets low in fruits and vegetables are particularly vulnerable to deficiency. In these populations, even marginally low vitamin C status can impair neuromuscular efficiency and increase the risk of frequent leg cramps or muscular weakness. Targeted supplementation and laboratory testing form the backbone of an evidence-based strategy for resolving chronic leg cramps and muscle weakness. These symptoms can have multiple underlying causes, 
including nutrient deficiencies, neuromuscular imbalances, metabolic dysfunction, or even subtle hormonal shifts. Attempting to resolve them without identifying the root cause can lead to trial and error supplementation that may be ineffective or counterproductive. This is where targeted testing becomes essential, allowing for a precise understanding of an individual's biochemical profile and enabling supplementation to be tailored accordingly. Blood tests can provide valuable insights into the levels of key vitamins and minerals that influence muscle function, such as vitamin D, vitamin B12, magnesium, and others. Measuring serum 25 hydroxyvitamin D, for example, offers a clear picture of vitamin D status and helps guide dosing to correct deficiency or insufficiency. Similarly, assessing active B12 levels along with methylmalonic acid or homocysteine can reveal functionally low B12 even when total serum B12 appears within normal range. This type of granular data informs more accurate and effective interventions, especially in cases where symptoms persist despite general nutritional intake. Magnesium status, often missed by standard serum tests, can be better assessed using red blood cell RBC magnesium levels, which reflect intracellular concentrations more accurately. Since magnesium is predominantly stored inside cells, a normal serum magnesium result may not capture a clinically significant deficiency. This nuance becomes critical when dealing with muscle cramps, as intracellular magnesium is a key regulator of calcium signaling and muscle fiber relaxation. By identifying actual deficiencies, supplementation becomes not just corrective but restorative, addressing the physiological dysfunction at its source. Supplementation itself must also be carefully individualized. Different forms of vitamins and minerals have varying bioavailability and therapeutic effects. For example, magnesium glycinate is well tolerated and effective for neuromuscular symptoms without causing gastrointestinal upset, whereas magnesium oxide is less bioavailable. Similarly, methylcobalamin or adenosylcobalamin are more bioactive forms of vitamin B12 compared to cyanocobalamin, particularly for individuals with methylation issues or genetic polymorphisms affecting B vitamin metabolism. Choosing the right form can dramatically influence outcomes in resolving cramps and muscle weakness. Timing and dosing matter as well. Some nutrients like B vitamins are water-soluble and must be taken consistently often in divided doses to maintain stable plasma levels. Fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin D and vitamin E may require larger, less frequent doses, ideally taken with meals containing fat to ensure proper absorption. Cofactors like vitamin K2 may also need to be included when supplementing higher doses of vitamin D to ensure proper calcium metabolism and avoid vascular calcification. These layers of detail elevate supplementation from a generic recommendation to a therapeutic intervention based on individual need and physiology. Ongoing monitoring is equally important. Retesting nutrient levels after a period of supplementation can determine whether deficiencies have been corrected or if adjustments in dosage or form are required. This approach also helps avoid potential toxicities, especially with fat-soluble vitamins or minerals like iron that can accumulate over time. By taking a data-driven approach to supplementation, the path toward restoring neuromuscular health becomes clearer, more efficient, and grounded in measurable outcomes rather than guesswork 